Hey guys, Robert here, and today I'd like to do a little bit of a follow-up video for those of you who may or may not know. I have finished, well, I'm almost done with my com gaming computer, and I just built my sister a gaming computer. So that means I should give you guys the results. But um, first I'd just like to say, I hope everybody's alright from Hurricane Sandy. Uh, I myself got hit pretty hard. Everybody's safe though, the house is in good condition, it's just a um, mess outside a little bit. My uh, family in New York, um, they got hit pretty hard, so for those of you who are in the New York or New Jersey area, I hope you're all alright. Probably without power, but once again, I just want to say I hope you're all alright, and uh, that's, that's important. So, uh, what I was saying is, for those of you who may or may not know, um, I built my sister's computer, which is back there. I don't think you can see that. And my computer is on the ground, because I just, I did my computer first, but uh, I did some benchmarking. And I thought I'd like to share this with you guys. So right here I have a little card with all the benchmarks. And um, specs, first of all, my computer is uh, an Ace, it has the Asus 990, or Asus 990FX Sabertooth motherboard. Emily has the MSI, uh, what is that? That is the 970A-G46. The box is in my closet. 970A-G46 motherboard, along with the AMD FX4100 processor, which I have clocked at 3.8 gigahertz. Yes, 3.8 gigahertz. And um, mine, I have the 40 AMD FX4170 clocked at 4.5 gigahertz. We are both running 8 gigs of 1600 megahertz RAM. Um, is there anything else I should say? I am using a Caviar Black Western Digital hard drive as compared to her Caviar Blue probably won't notice much of a difference in FPS between those two, but it is a factor, so I should, thought I should say that. Um, uh, yes, she has the AMD HD 5450 graphics card, which is 2 gigs of DDR3. Now, I wanted to make this fair and use the exact same graphics card between the two, but it's odd. <coughs> Excuse me. I am running a high-end 1 gig of DDR3 graphics card, yet my performance outdid hers by quite a bit, and I think, I just, I felt it would be a little bit fair, because I have a higher end graphics card, and she has a lower end, and yet she does have more RAM than I do in the graphics card. The core clocks of the graphics card were both set to 900 megahertz. Uh, it's just the difference in the RAM. Um, other than that, I don't think there's anything else I have to say. We did four games, and I did FPS, or I... I got the average FPS with them with a benchmarking tool that I have, and the results, they're a little skewed. They're uh, probably not what you would expect, but what can I say? So I have the games Battlefield 3, Minecraft Tech It, just because it's quite a popular game now, Team Fortress 2, and Left 4 Dead 2. So I'm going to go through here, say the average FPS we got, notice any differences between the games or anything like that. Alright, so for starters, with Battlefield 3, this was on all medium settings with 1x aliasing. Emily's computer averaged 31.2 FPS, which is really surprising for a standard graphics card like that. And I got 43.3 FPS. Not the best, but this is more of a difference between the processors we have, which would be the 4100 and the 4170. But the clocks are pretty different. Um, like I said, that was on medium with 1x aliasing. So uh, when I was playing campaign, I noticed her campaign uh, was a little bit laggier, not just because of the FPS, but the whole overall thing of it was laggier, which does come into play with the processor, being that I couldn't process as much as fast. Uh, so that's what I have to say for that one. Um, Minecraft Tech It. This was on fancy graphics with 50% smooth lighting. All of the other options were uh, completely the same. Average was 42.8 FPS on Emily's computer, which is the 4100 processor, and on mine I averaged 82.9 FPS with the 4170 clocked at 4.5 GHz. The next game I tested was Team Fortress 2. This is the one where I found it was oddly skewed, and I kind of think this one was a little bit due to internet connection. Uh, we were, I did a multiplayer game for both computers. This was an odd skewed one. Emily's got 38.5 FPS, where I got 71, which is like double hers, almost. Almost, it's not. Technically, double would be 76, but anyway, 
I just felt it was a little odd because our processors aren't that much different. It's 7 gigahertz change, 0.7 gigahertz change. She has a better graphics card than I do. Keep in mind, that's an odd one. But uh, I do plan on upgrading to a 7850 because my friend Jeff, um, those of you who may or may not know him, he got, he got the new Radeon 7850. That thing is a tank. But like I said, Team Fortress 2 on medium settings. Everything else was kept the same. Uh, the internet connection, I think it was from the host who had the game, because both computers are right here, and I use the exact same wireless adapter for them. I don't know, it's a big difference. Once again, 38 and 71. Left for Dead 2, this is Emily's favorite game. Um, Emily got an average of 30, 35.3 FPS on medium settings with no anti-aliasing. And I average 49.4 FPS with no anti-aliasing and medium settings. Uh, so, there's the card. Ah, I should probably tell you the resolution I played at was 1360 by 768, which gives you a total of 1,044,480 pixels. That would be on my Sony Bravia TV back there that you see. Um, so, other than that, final conclusions I had come to. In order for her to be playing Battlefield 3, I would need to ante up the... Uh, graphics card because it was very sketchy. It was um the it, it came in with an average of 29.6 FPS, but it would drop to 20 FPS, then jump to maybe 38, and then go back down. And it was it was a constant wave. There was no constant FPS where I was getting about 40 FPS and then it gave me an average of 46. For Battlefield 3, I'd say when I was playing the game I personally noticed around an average of 25 FPS on hers, and on mine I noticed an average of about 40 FPS. Once again, that's not what the software came up with, that's what the personal user said. Um, other than that, everything else ran super smoothly, like I said. Minecraft Tech It, beautiful. Team Fortress 2, good. Internet connection was a factor. And Left 4 Dead 2, great. As some of you may know, Battlefield 3 is one of the most graphically demanding games out there, so obviously it's going to be more rigorous on the parts in the computer. But once again, my final conclusions, I am overall beyond satisfied with my new 4170 processor. I do have it overclocked a smidge, 0.3 gigahertz, running at very, very good temperatures. Today I did some stress tests on both the computers. I thought I'd share that one with you. After one hour of the AMD Overdrive stress test, I found that with Emily's processor, it is stock 3.6, I overclocked it to 3.8 gigahertz. This is probably a lot to keep in your head. Um, the temperatures after one hour of a stress test peaked at 44 degrees Celsius, which is around 100 Fahrenheit. Excellent, that's with the stock cooler as well. With mine, my temperatures were a bit higher, I mean, after all the stress tests and gaming, I'd say I peaked at about 140 degrees Fahrenheit, and that was about two hours straight. Hers was only for one hour. And um, other than that, I will have a little more of a follow-up response, but um, overall, my performance... I keep touching my face, just... Um, overall performance, the processors are very close when you look at the purchasing differences, like 4.0 and 3.6. Um, but the 4170 has more cache, 32 megs of cache, as compared to, I, I'm not going to guess because I don't know it exactly. I do know that the 4100 is less, but overall, beautiful performance. The multitasking is amazing. I'm, I can host a TechIt server, a Minecraft TechIt server, and then play it with fancy, full, uh, s smooth lighting. Yeah, that's what it is, smooth lighting. No lag at all. The, the multitasking is absolutely amazing. And that goes for all the new bulldozer and pile drive CPUs. So guys, with that being said, um, I have a link in the description to the build video of Emily's computer. Um, I also have an unboxing of some of the parts, like the Sabertooth motherboard, which you guys, can you see that? No, you guys can't. But down there is my computer, which... Uh, yeah, but anyway, um, I have an unboxing of that. Nothing else really to say. Uh, I hope everybody is safe from the hurricane. Hurricane. <laughs> say that one funny. Hope everybody's safe. Uh, it was a pretty bad storm. Damn. 
Um, with that being said, guys, everybody take care, stay safe. If it's not safe to go outside, use your common sense, please, guys. It's still, still pretty damaged out there. So take care, everybody. Have a good one. Most importantly, stay safe.